Hello, everybody. I am Professor Julio Rezend. Uh, I am participating in Space Habitat event, and my presentation is about researching with Habitat Mart. Uh, this exposition presents explanations guiding how to volunteers collaborate with Habitat Mart and Luna Habitat Space and Log Stations. Uh, first, uh, I'll be presenting about the aerospace complex. And secondly, I will present about uh, virtual missions. Uh, about our location, we are located here in the corner of South America. It's the east, eastern part in Americas here. Uh, also, uh, the uh, Habitat Mart is located in one city in the countryside. I live in Natal. It's a hundred kilometer uh, distance. It's around two hours and, or ninety minutes. Uh, also, this uh, Habitat Mart is located in Brazilian semi-arid. Is here. I live in Rio Grande do Norte State, and Habitat Mart is, is just in the area of semi-arid. Uh, semi-arid also presents a different landscapes, a uh, different landscape with a lot of cactus. Uh, uh, this uh, photo, this photo is from five years ago and presents uh, our landscape. Uh, you can see like uh, during this time in Brazil and this in this area is drier than show it in, in this photo. Also it's possible to see some uh, water res reservoir, uh, one of them almost complete empty. And uh, we are the only space analog station in Southern Hemisphere. And a little bit about um, more, more images from uh, about our location. And in this uh, area, in aerospace complex, there is uh, three different uh, space analog stations, Habitat Mart, Luna Habitat, and Lava Cave. And these uh, three different sites are uh, spread in a area of 600 meters, it's possible to walk from Habitat Mark to Lava Cave, uh, the largest uh, space on log station. In the future, we'll be uh, creating a, a fourth analog habitat called, uh, called uh, Lake Sirius Habitat. It's uh, close to a rock formation uh, where uh, accum accumulate uh, water from the rain. Uh, this possibly will be a fourth analog habitat to be built uh, next year. Uh, a little bit about our infrastructure, uh, the main habitat, uh, there is a swimming pool where we are uh, developing around 20 protocols, solar panels, uh, auditorium where we receive students from during our visits, uh, the greenhouse called biohabitat. Uh, this is an old photo, and now uh, the greenhouse is complete, comp uh, completely uh, covered. Okay. Okay, let's go. Uh, this is a photo from in front of, of Habitat Marti. Also, a photo in front of Lava Cave. Uh, and some photos of Lava Cave. It's a lava, lava cave is was built under a rock formation. Either during during May of 2024, we started the operation of the Luna habitat. Uh, this is some uh, aerial aim, images from the the Luna habitat. Uh, also, there is the uh, uh, the experience of space analog virtual missions that I'd like to present to you too. Uh, in the virtual missions, we invite the participants to imagine a station on Mars or Moon. And this station presents uh, seven facilities, the uh, launch pad, uh, the main station, the health facility, the greenhouse, the sanitation center, the engineering facility, the power station. Uh, and during the analog missions, the uh, the participants need to imagine how is uh, is supposed to be the operation of each specific facility, uh, and it's necessary to imagine in the uh, the design, uh, the internal design, 
uh, aspects related to uh, technology applied to the operation of these facilities. Uh, also, the how is the management, the positions, uh, also the protocols, and, and last, uh, the possible spin-offs from the from space exploration to be applied uh, in our daily lives. In this case, the uh, the participants are requested to present a presentation uh, reporting the status of operation of each specific facility. Okay, that is a guidelines and methodology uh, presented to, to participants. And we are, uh, uh, it's possible to develop this methodology with international uh, students, okay? Uh, since we started the virtual missions during pandemics, during uh, 2020, we uh, had, we started the contact with many different participants in the world. Uh, in the time when happened the launch of, of Perseverance rover, we had the participants of the astronaut Marcos Pontes from Brazil and other participants in the world. Uh, and now we just have almost 50 countries participating in virtual missions. Uh, okay, uh, each mission we prepare a, a kind of patch for participants and uh, an example of, of a meeting with uh, during the uh, virtual mission. And these are some numbers from our uh, missions. Now we just have uh, 30, 37 missions during 2024 and more than a thousand participants in the world. Uh, one of them was Dr. Sian Proctor and she participated as invited researcher in one of our uh, virtual missions. And now she became a, a real astronaut during an inspiration for a mission. And one of, uh, if someone is, is, uh, is looking to collaborate with us, uh, one of our pains uh, is related to identify funding and revenues and how to bring more participants and investments. In terms of, uh, of characteristics and features, uh, uh, Abdat Marti just had uh, important uh, updates uh, during this time, okay? Uh, and we started, uh, Abdat Marti started in the end of 2017. And in this case, we are almost achieving uh, seven years of operation, okay? Uh, these are some challenges uh, about Abdat Marti and any uh, space and log mission, how to keep uh, the economic sustainability. But other topic that we are interested about research with Habitat Mart, uh, in our case, we just developed more than 200 protocols and surveys, and collaborations with Habitat Mart must be addressed with uh, activities, protocols, and research. The possible collaborators with us, or possible, possible volunteers can collaborate imagining activities, protocols, and research. Uh, all, all proposals applied to imaginary concepts applied to future space habitats operating on Mars and Moon. Uh, in this second possibility is related to the uh, virtual missions. Uh, in this case, it would be very interesting. Some of you have the, the, the opportunity to participate uh, in the virtual missions to collaborate with design of imaginary uh, concepts of future space habitats, okay? And how is the research flow? Uh, first, uh, contact me with me. Uh, in the end, that is, that is the QR code to contact me by WhatsApp. Uh, in this contact, uh, characterize the motivation and ways to collaborate with Habitat Mart. You can will be explaining how you can collaborate in terms uh, to a specific protocols, activities, and research applied to Habitat Marti. Uh, and then we'll be happening a proce process of uh, mentoring and evaluation how the proposals can be applied to aerospace complex. Okay, we'll be adapting uh, and doing the evaluation and improvement of protocols and research. Uh, the next step is application with crews uh, during the uh, in-person missions, if you are considering uh, protocols, activities, and research applied to, to in-person missions. 
And after this, after the application, analyze the results and necessity of improvements in terms of protocols and research. Okay, this is the, the flow. Uh, and some themes of research, uh, topics applied to the operation of Habitat in Mars Station or focus on the future of space operations or Mars and Moon. Uh, some topics are the management, health, agriculture, sanitation, engineering, logistics, and energy. These are some topics uh, very useful for Habitat in Mars and also for the future of space exploration. Uh, in this case, we are practicing a methodology of, of uh, quality management called PDCA. Uh, in the first time, uh, in the first moment, we are planning the, uh, the protocols, designing the protocols. The second moment, uh, executing the protocols. And the third moment, checking if the if this proposal of protocol or research is uh, is uh, operating correctly and what kind of results. And the fourth moment, we are evaluating uh, what the uh, the possible uh, improvements and and also uh, adjustments uh, necessary from the side of Habitat Mart or related to the operation of the research methodology. Also, the uh, it's very important this research and protocols be connected with sustainable development goals. To conclude, uh, this research or, or proposal presentation that I am doing now, uh, search to guide the interested volunteers to collaborate with Habitat in Marte Aerospace Complex, how to imagine protocols, activities, and research. Uh, proposals are very welcome. And the challenge is search uh, to present the res uh, results in events such as uh, International Astronautical Congress, uh, also identifying possible funding for the participation of the authors. Uh, this, uh, this is a book that I am publishing, is still in Portuguese, but I plan to, to uh, let available in English. And this mm -hmm. is Kia Code to contact me by WhatsApp, okay? Uh, thanks so much, and I am concluding the recording. One moment.